cool. Hi, everyone. It's been a minute, uh, obviously. I'm uh, enjoying some double stuff Oreos at the moment, so I apologize if I take a brief moment to eat. We're just going to talk a little bit today uh, about plans for moving forward and also to explain why I've been gone. Um, it's not because I don't want to be streaming. Um, I've been taking, I've been doing a lot of uploading, but I'll admit I've had uploading pretty much done for probably a week or two. I've just been taking it very slowly and I haven't actually finished hitting all the upload buttons uh, because I would like to record the end of the Borderlands 2 playthrough, um, which is just beating a few rounds of Murderlands Temple and doing the OP-10 peak. Um, but that's all going to get attached to the final stream, uh, which means that I can't officially finish off the series on YouTube, on like the YouTube end, um, which is making me hesitant to start going back to other stuff because then I'm going to pile up even more things because I want to, I want to finish it concise. I don't want to have it be like Borderlands 57 or Borderlands 257, and then, like, a bunch of other shit, and then just Borderlands 258, you know? Uh, out of nowhere. Uh, so I want to get that done first. I've been playing a lot of, uh, games for my own sanity in my free time. Playing a lot of Gungeon, playing, uh, well, I haven't actually gotten around to it, but I plan on playing some old PS2 games. Um... Got into Overlord, been enjoying that. But anyway, that's enough of what my break was about. Let's talk about what we're going to be doing in the future. Um, so, obviously, I still have to finish Everhood. I still have to... Borderlands 2 is obviously first. But after that... I need to do the super long Everhood stream, uh, and then I have to do... How am I forgetting what it's called? Starbound. I've got a lot of Starbound grinding I have to do. Um, a long time ago, I did a few Portal 1 live streams and a couple Portal 2 multiplayer live streams. and. I don't have all the achievements in those games, so I need to go back and I need to finish those games as well. Um, so that they are able to be put on the shelf. Which reminds me, I don't know if I've ever actually talked about the shelf. Um, unfortunately, right now, I don't actually have a the shelf. My the shelf is currently rotting at the bottom of the stairs because we had some flooding issues and it's laying sideways and now it's just... A barrier but um, once I am able to have like a proper because right now I'm staying like in a town I don't intend to stay in I intend to move somewhere else um, so I don't have anything really fully set up a lot of my stuff is packed in boxes and it's been packed in boxes for like two years and I've just been trying to figure out what I'm doing and saving up money where I can um, but there's this shelf that I got and I was like man I don't know what to put on this shelf so I came to the idea that for every game that I get every achievement for on stream um, I will get a little thing for that, sh like, for the shelf. So right now, unfortunately, I, <laughs> once all these things happen, I'm gonna have one hell of a list to deal with, because I've, I've completed a lot of games already. Like, I've got Aperture Desk Job, which isn't really anything, Bendy in the Dark Revival, Bendy in the Ink Machine, Blasphemous, Boris in the Dark Survival, uh, Cuphead, Fury, Hollow Knight, Inscription, Inside, Limbo, Sigils of Elohim, Talos Principle 1 and 2, and that list is 
only go like Borderlands. Uh, Borderlands actually won't get added because I intend to do every character from every game. So I'm going to eventually, once I finish Borderlands 3 or 4, if it comes out in time, um, I will loop back around to the first game and do another run through until we're out of characters to play. And then I'll just play the most recent game that comes out. Um, anyway, so there's also some things that I don't currently see but I know are there, like Death Store, which I have on Xbox, but I don't have Game Pass right now. Um, but yeah, so I have to get a bunch of different items for the shelf. And they're not going to be, like, insubstantial either. Like, they're going to cost me a one pretty and a half penny. Uh, at least in my money, which isn't, unfortunately, isn't that much. But uh, we do what we can, you know? Uh, anyway, now that I have Steam open on my other monitor, I can l have a better look at what my plans for future game series are. Um, we still have to finish Buckshot Roulette. I haven't forgotten about that one. Um, Blasphemous 2, once we get another game off, like, once we in eliminate one of the games that we're currently doing... Which hopefully Borderlands 2 is the first one. Uh, I will start Blasphemous 2. And then once Blasphemous 2 is done, or the next game, once we have another free slot, uh, I want to do the Bioshock series. Um, both as an apology for missing a bunch of days in April Ghouls, and also because I enjoy the Bioshock series. And I don't have every achievement for it yet. I think I have most. I know I have all the achievements for Bioshock 1, uh, but I, that, all that's in my own time. Bioshock 2 has a problem with crashing, and I could never get that one finished. And then Bioshock Infinite had, um, like, multiplayer achievements. Or not multiplayer, like, the, the weird bonus mode achievements that were difficult. So I haven't finished that one either. Um... I have Celeste. I don't know when I'm going to play that, but it is something that I've been thinking about. Um, at some point, I will have to come back and actually play Dead Cells, because I did a single Dead Cells stream a while ago, which means... And I think I gave it a part number, which means that it's an official series. It's just been neglected for, like, a year and a half. Um... Enter the Gungeon and Exit the Gungeon. I'm very excited to actually start those as a series because, as I mentioned, I've been playing the shit out of them and I've gotten pretty decent. I can, uh... Winning runs isn't actually that hard anymore. Well, it's not that it's not hard. It's hard. Don't get me wrong. I lose. But I can actually win... I can beat the rat without abusing rainbow runs and, like... It's, I'm feeling good about it, so I feel like I can start that as a series without it taking on a hundred fucking episodes. Uh, that and Exit the Gungeon, obviously, after, because I like to do them in order, like, with the... I want it to flow. I don't want to split it up and then just be like, enter the Gungeon and then fucking wait years before I start Exit the Gungeon. I usually just jump right into the new thing once... And old, the old thing start or stops. Um, let's scroll through here. I'm waiting for Little Nightmares three to come out before I even touch Little Nightmares, but I haven't even played Little Nightmares two yet, and I don't have all the achievements for Little Nightmares one. Uh, so those are things that I'm interested in, but I don't know. We already have a lot on the list, and believe me, I'm not even close to done. Um, so I don't. These probably aren't going to be done this year. They, hell, they, this list probably won't even be done by next year. But I keep surprising myself with how fast I'm finishing these games. Uh, so we'll see, actually. Maybe I can get through like a decent amount by, uh, by the end of next year. Because yeah, they do take time. Um... 
let's see. Plants vs. Zombies would be fun, but I don't really want to play the other Plants vs. Zombies games. I just like the first one, so maybe I'll do that as like a one-off stream and I'll just fucking do a whole, like all of it in one sitting, which will take a while. It's a, it's not a, it's a short game, but it's not short if you're doing it in one sitting. It's a slog at times. I have it on my phone. Um, I already mentioned Portal 1 and 2, but Portal Revolution is something that I've uh, downloaded. I'm excited to play that. Portal Reloaded, the one with the time travel portals, got a multiplayer uh, thing for it, so I might beg and plead and cry for one of my friends to try and do that one with me. Um, Portal Stories Mel, I've never played, but I've heard about, so I downloaded that. There's a couple other Portal mods that are coming out. I don't know if they're coming out this year, next year, but they're in development that I'm pretty interested in. Uh, I can't fully remember what they're called, though, which is unfortunate. Um, what do we got here? There's Starbound. Uh, Super Meat Boy would be fun, but I feel like getting all the achievements in it would really hurt, so I might save that for once I'm in a, a higher tier gamer. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um... I do need to re-record Super Liminal, because I do have all the achievements in it, and I did do them all live. But, I don't have it as a VOD. It's all just... old data. Uh, lost... to... Mr. Bezos's VOD vault. I'd have to... go and... perform a... Fort Knox invasion... on... Bezos's fucking content vault um, I've been playing some Total War Warhammer 3 in my own time and I feel like it'd be a fun stream but I don't know if it'd be a fun series um, Undertale and Deltarune are games I don't have recorded and I would like to uh, but I don't know what version I should do. Because I have the PC version. But I know that there's, like, extra shit in the Switch version. Um, that's another thing I would love to get set up is my, like, uh, console streaming stuff. Like, because I used to have an Elgato. But, unfortunately, it's an Elgato and it stopped working after, like, a year. Um, but, I, uh... If I can get something like that set up again, we can do all sorts of things. Because I have an HDMI, or a... What are... Is it... It's not AVI cables, is it? Is that what they're called? The yellow, red, white... Yellow, white, red... However, whatever the order is, I, I look at it to figure out the order. I don't memorize the order. Uh, fucking... But yeah, I have that to HDMI converter thing so we could do like ps2 games and stuff and i have like an analog tv i can run it through maybe uh which would be nice just for my sake because then i can look at it and go Ooh -hoo. also this is slight diversion but i meant to mention it at the beginning i had the credit for this image uh, written down, but I had it on my old laptop, which has since been obliterated. I, like, destroyed that after getting mad at an Overwatch game. Real story. I, like, punched it and the f screen flew off. Uh, <laughs> hi, Olivia. Um, so, that laptop, I might, well, I, I don't know, it is still around. I could try and dig through it, but that said person who got this image or took this image or made this image um if you would like credit i'm more than happy to credit you uh i'm i'll try and find the credit myself but if i can't find it and i haven't found it by the time you see this um just send me a message i'll i'll gladly give you the credit for this image i just uh i i don't have a way of 
getting one myself. I live in the city. I can't light a fire without a permit. Um, but it's a very nice image. And I would like to keep using it with your permission. Anyway, back to planning. Um, I have all the achievements for Vermintide 2 already because that was a game I got just to play with my friends off of stream. But I don't have the Winds of Magic DLC and I want to, I know that that has achievements and I would like to run it as a stream series and I don't want to just do the Screaming Bell because that's what I did for every character. I just played the Screaming Bell over and over again. And uh, I feel like even though it's probably also a, a grind and a slog, it's at least something new to do. I've been good, Olivia. Um, how are you? Terraria and Minecraft are the things that are going to follow up Starbound once Starbound is done. Minecraft probably first, because I'm going to do normal Minecraft series, uh, and then I'll probably have that normal Minecraft series turn into, like, getting every achievement, and then I'll try and beat the game in hardcore, then I'll try and get every achievement in hardcore, and then once I get every achievement in hardcore, I'll just let that character go for as long as they can, and then once they die, we'll start Terraria, because Terraria, I would love to get to it sooner, but it's also going to be a long thing, so if I start Terraria, Minecraft's also gonna take a while to get to, because I'm gonna play Terraria, and then I'm gonna play modded Terraria, and then I'm gonna play like a different mod of Terraria, and then I'm gonna come back and be like, yo, I put together like seven different Terraria mods, and we're gonna do them all at the same time with all of the hardest difficulties enabled, and we're gonna just like crush every bone in my body with just flexing in rage. Uh, so Terraria is also a very long one. Um, Spore could be fun. Also, credit to, I don't know how to pronounce this, uh, Tizo, Tixo, T-I-X-O, uh, for putting together this compilation uh, of Animal Crossing music, because I did not compile it. Um, okay, so, what else to talk about? Oh! Well, that more that does more or less cover the plans. Another thing is that uh, Cookie Clicker counts towards the shelf, it is f for and for reference to back to that shelf section like ten minutes ago. Fucking, I might make a little thing just for like clicker games that are running in the background across multiple series. Because those generally take up a few seconds per stream, but they are there. And I do count them in my mind. Because I did give them their own streams, I just don't have... At this point, Cookie Clicker is far too slow for me to actually sit there and do a stream of it. Because I'd just be watching my plants grow. There's nothing I can really do right now to uh, make it go faster unless I'm trying to abuse mechanics and such, which I'm not against doing, I just try to do it when it's optimal, not at all times. Um, so, I've still got plenty of time, and I've gotten through my plans. I do intend to do more projects on Void. Um, Poppy Playtime's another one that I might do, but I'll probably save that for, like, next April. Because April ghouls will happen again. Uh, also, sorry, YouTube people, when you see this. Um, I may, I recorded April ghouls VODs in April, but I uploaded them in, like, <laughs> May, June. So, Sorry. For the titles being a little weird and being like, why the fuck? It's not April. 
it does the the problem with the vod channel is that uh it just the only time it specifies that it's a vod is in the channel name otherwise they're just titled like normal videos so i feel like a dingus sometimes when i'm uploading time related things out of date um overwatch so i have been meaning to record a TikTok. I don't like using TikTok as an app, but it's good for like getting words out there. So I figured I'd use it. Um, I have like two things up. One of them is like an Isaac clip, and the other one is me. But I couldn't. F I haven't been able to find my face in a few years, so I. I haven't been able to record it. So I'm just gonna do it here, and I'll clip the stream. And then I'll send it. I'll like upload it from here. Anyway, Overwatch. Hey guys, um, I've got an idea, and it maybe it's just because I like the format, um, and I'm sure everyone's tired of hearing it. And also, I hate to oversaturate the debate. I think tank is really shitty. Haha, <laughs> everyone knows it, but. Sorry, I'm having a hard time finding my words. I'll edit this properly for the upload. Um, why does it have to be one way or the other for 5v5 and 6v6? If we opened up 5v5 and 6v6 simultaneously, wouldn't we be able to tell based off of who's doing good where? Like how to how but how to better fix the problem because you could tell better if it's a character problem or if it's a just design problem i don't i'm having a hard time describing this without visuals but i didn't prepare this part this is just a ramble um because i feel like there would be some characters that would perform better in sig in like with the current like, without even changing any of the stats, that would just... Because double tank is a th would be a thing, they would perform differently. So, I imagine it would go from... Hey, tanks... Like, some tanks suck in this game mode, and some tanks suck in this game mode. Maybe it's not that the, we need to buff them, maybe they're just good for certain things but not other things um and then if they suck in both you can be like okay clearly something is wrong with this character because they're underperforming in both 5v5 and 6v6 or vice versa they're overperforming in both 5v5 and 6v6 and you can look at that data and go okay which like what is the substantial difference in the meta and then extrapolate. I'm just using buzzwords at this point. I'm sorry. Um, I'm not a, a good data guy or a good, uh, like, actual, like, facts guy. But I have ideas. Um, I, because the problem is I really like Overwatch as an IP. I really enjoy its characters, I like the world it's in, but they do nothing with it. And also, based off the recent stuff, first of all, I agree with the one guy's video. I, I hate referring to him as the one guy. Let's see if I can go find it real quick. Uh, where's my history? It would be... This feels too long ago. This is too long ago. Did I not watch it on my... I guess not. Huh. Okay. Well. Sorry. Um, there was a video that I saw in which someone had mentioned that um, 
in the most recent developer update, they treat it like we're the ones coming to these conclusions, or like that we're the people that are causing a ruckus about it, and it's like we're causing a ruckus because you're not treating this game the way that we would like to see it treated. Um, but like, what the in in a Twitter thing they were like, hey, we're the most recent dev thing brought up six v six talk again. You should check the next uh, next next uh, next fucking the next newsletter or whatever the fuck or like the next update or next season and see what they're talking about and I gotta say if it's a quick play hacked why like don't stop teasing us man like just make it a game mode and if it's a full replacement I'd, I'd feel like that's not good either because you're just like then what's the difference What's the difference between Overwatch 1 and Overwatch 2 at that point? And I hate to bring this argument up again, but what is the difference at that point? Because if they go all the way back to 6v6, then it's 6v6 with old flashbang, and, like, they're, like, slowly bringing back CC and shit, and I think that they've actually turned around on that. I don't fully remember. I haven't been in playing the game for a while because I'm waiting for, like, Tank to be playable again. So that way I can come back and have some fun uh, when they ultimately <laughs> mess it up and unbalance it to shit. And then Tank becomes the strongest thing in the universe and then everyone's complaining about Tank. But if they bring it back to 6v6, what's the difference? Because then it's a 6v6 game with like old Overwatch combat, which people wouldn't mind because people miss old Overwatch. But... Like, we've gotten... We've gotten less story in this, like, in Overwatch 2, than we've ever gotten in Overwatch 1. We had the fucking Archives event. What happened to the Archives missions? Did they ever come back? Did I just miss it? Like, maybe I missed a thing, but have they ever come back for Overwatch 2? It was a yearly thing. It was the fuck. It was a yearly event. They would, like, make a story mission. And they've made, like, seasonal events, and that's great. Uh, that's cool. But can we get a little bit of that effort towards an actual mission? Because, hey, you released those other missions for a price, which was a, an entire other thing, but I can understand it. But then you just haven't done anything with that system. It just sat there. It's just sitting there. No one's playing those missions. If I were to queue up right now, I'd be sitting there for, like... Oh, I don't know if there's bots, I've never gotten to play them. But, like, fucking... We, is four, three or four missions really all it's gonna be? That's the whole Overwatch story? Are, are we just... Are we just say, wait until next season? I'll just wait till... The whole point of Overwatch 2, when it was announced, was that it was going to be an actual story. And the implication that Overwatch 1 would be its own separate thing. But now, you fucking butcher Overwatch 1 and you take years just to go back to being Overwatch 1 with less story? Again, can, can you throw- just throw them- I don't even care if you throw the Archives missions behind a fucking paywall, people will get mad at you for it, but at least they'll, they're there. You know? Those are actual story events. Those are important. Those are things that matter. And, like, we ju uh, just- they're gone. And, like... I feel like we would get something. Like, year-round we would get something. Maybe not a full Archives mission. But there would be, like... It, it, like <sighs> I'm sorry. I don't want to get into the cosmetics issue because I... I personally am more in preference to the old model. But that's just because I thought that they were the only company that really did it well. I think that loot boxes suck in general. But Overwatches were nice because you earned them. 
similar to the way you earn Apex uh, boxes, except they did it every level, which was really cool. Um, and every time you didn't get a legendary, you would get like a higher chance uh, at getting a legendary until you eventually got one. So there was like a scaling uh, chance thing. And then fucking they would have fucking, I'm sorry, my brain is failing to come up with anything. Um, and they eventually introduced the system where if you had, uh, like, if you were missing, like, you got, say you get, like, three white rarities and a blue, they would be white rarities and blues that you don't already have. And if you have all the white rarities and all of the blues, then you would just get duplicates, which would give you credits. And the same would happen for, like epic and legendary and whatnot, but it's, excuse me, it's a little less frequent there. But I feel like they make more skins, like, I feel like the argument for it is that, like, well, we don't want to have to make that many skins, maybe, is, but I feel like they make more skins than ever. I feel like that's the only thing that they're actually doing. They, they had a thing with Porsche. There's Porsche Diva. By the way, never buying a Porsche because Diva's a tin can that gets torn to shit. <laughs> Why the fuck am I gonna buy a car from a company that gets their shit torn to shreds? Or like, buy a fucking- gets their sponsor to be a fucking tin can. Anyway. Sorry, Porsche. Not that it would matter, I've never- able gonna be able to buy a port well that's not true maybe one day i'll get that kind of money but i uh have no interest regardless even if i had it wouldn't be buying a porsche i'd buy a, a dune buggy that's that's the cool guy car or like those like fucking those y-shaped fucking cars like the polaris I just think that those are cool looking. I play video games, of course I think they're cool. But, um... But yeah, I really just don't want to see Overwatch, uh, fall. Because it has a lot of cool stuff going on. I feel like if they had actually just done the story mode, like... Microsoft is in charge now, right? Like, they have ownership. Can they not bring that back and be like, Hey guys, feel free to do the story. Because, frankly, this shit, this back and forth we have going with just like, These guys are too strong. Now these guys are too strong. Now these guys are too strong. But it's just the same rotation of guys. Um, fucking, and like... Also, just, like, buffing in the wrong ways. Like, I feel like Symmetra should not be as run forward, hold button, as she is right now. But that's its own thing. I just don't like Symmetra. Um. Fucking. I, I really like the, the potential it has. Similarly, TF2. Hey, TF2. I'm so sorry for what's happened to you. Um, I really hope Save TF2 happens because... Uh, or whatever it is. I think it's Save TF2 now. It was fixed TF2 before. Or maybe it's the other way around. But uh, TF2 is dying. And I hate to be that guy and be like, oh man, this thing is dying. Click uh, click here to hear all about how this thing's dying. It's like, no. But like, as I, I personally have fallen out of enjoying uh, the TF2 gameplay loop. But I think it's a very important game in the gaming sphere. That's like one of the titans. So if... If it falls because of negligence to bot issues with a company that's focused currently on software engineering, uh, at least from what I've heard, um, it's 
it'll just, it's gonna be like, it's like the last pillar of light is steam. I, and like, and in Valve. Cause like, every other game company seems to treat us like shit. But Valve and Steam constantly do like, the fucking Steam sales, and they're like, they try to be nice to their community, and maybe I just haven't been paying attention. But, I feel like they're the good guys in this war. And if that pillar of light goes out, they join that enemy side. That black-hearted, hate-filled side where it's just, we only care if you're giving us your money and, like, fucking, we are gonna maximize just garbage content that pumps out even more cash to fund our adventures than updating the thing that makes us enough money but not as much as releasing a brand new thing and the only reason i say that is because hey what is up with this new hero shooter that i'm hearing about from valve you got one and I, that's a point everyone's made you've got one just fucking please <laughs> Uh, I've already signed the petition, uh, and, like, every- like, I've signed what I can, but, uh, I recommend going to find the, uh, I don't have the link on me, but there's an Uncle Dane video, pretty recent upload, that will have the link. Uh, so, go check the uncle- and he'll also better explain it than I can, he has a script, he's not- just running off his head. Um, but yeah, TF2 needs to survive. Because otherwise, uh, although there will be good games, we will never have the hope of the Titans again. Because we used to, I feel like we used to look at them and go, oh man, these guys are awesome. Sony, Microsoft, Nintendo and fucking uh valve are like the four souls bosses of the game sphere and uh fucking the other three have fallen from grace they got greedy they got greedy got lazy uh simply just got mean. Doesn't really have to be one way or the other. Um, and they still do good things, but they do more bad than good. Whereas I feel like Valve is the only one that still manages to do more good than bad. But I, again, maybe I haven't just been, just haven't been looking. Maybe in truth. It's always been four evil Dark Souls bosses, and there was no hero. But I like to have hope. And that's kind of the point I'm making, is that without Valve, there won't be. It will just be indie developers against Titans. And, uh... While I believe in David's potential, Goliath is pretty big. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I'd like to talk about before I call it, because we're at, we're at like 40 minutes, that's about as long as I need this to be, but I gave myself an hour of time, so I'm trying to think, is there anything else I'd like to talk about? Um, I suppose I should talk about when I'm planning on coming back, uh, Hopefully, uh, I will be able to record, uh, Sigmund's currently, uh, re-setting up all his stuff, because he had to do some maintenance, so to speak. Um, so, he's gonna be back in a few days, and then maybe we'll be able to finish Borderlands 2 and uh start something new maybe we'll play portal 2 because we uh, i still have to finish that doesn't matter which 
person joins me. It can be Sigmund, it could be Landon, hell, it could be Will. I don't know if Will would be interested in that, but I could ask him. Um, but that said, maybe, hopefully, I will get a stream, like a proper game stream, like by Friday. If not, um, I will, I'll do something next week. I gotta do something next week. Like a proper stream will come within the next couple weeks. And if not, well, I hate to give myself an out, so I'm gonna, I'm trying hard not to. If I fail, I will guaranteed start up the following week. The only reason I would fail is because I still... The other problem is that I'm still not back in my office. I'm currently... Uh, my, my office space is dealing with flooding issues, so I'm waiting for the company responsible to uh, fix the issue. But they're taking their time. Uh, you know how it is. So, hopefully, they get their ass in gear and I can move my equipment back down. Uh, but yeah, if that hasn't started within the next week, then I will just start up again, but in my current setup. I just would prefer to move back to the other office first. Anyway, uh, that's really all I have to say. I, I'm i sure I could think of some other things, but I don't want to accidentally ramble beyond my time. Um, but yeah, I figured it would be good to just come back and tell you all what's going on. Um, but that's all. So... Till next time, I've been Creature, you've been the lovely chat and the beautiful viewer at home. This has been Creature saying some words, and it's been fun. See you. Bye. Bye, everybody. Goodbye. Bye.